broccoli and almond butter. Mm -hmm. Don't knock it till you try it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Taylor. Please subscribe and join me on my journeys. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications and follow me on social media to keep up with me on a daily basis. If you follow me on social media, the other day I posted that on February 7th, it was my one year of eating no processed foods. So whether it is cake, cookies, bread, chips, crackers, ice cream, candy, anything that is like processed and bad, I have not touched in a year. I have been around it. I work at an office where there's catered lunch every day. There's cupboards full of snacks. Birthdays like every other day with cakes and cupcakes. I've been on vacation and I've been around all of my favorite foods and I still have not had anything. So it's a big accomplishment in my eyes. I obviously feel better and I think I look better. I wouldn't really consider this a diet. It was more of a lifestyle change. The problem with dieting is, you know, people will stick to a diet for a month or a couple weeks, whatever it is, and then the next month they just fall off and go back to exactly how they were eating. When I posted that, everyone was like really supportive, which was awesome. Everyone was like, oh my God, that is so crazy. I can't believe you've done that. You look so great. Compliments praise it was amazing i really appreciate that because it's not easy and when you are surrounded by tempting things all the time you know it's definitely a lot of mental strength everybody was also asking so what do you eat if you're not eating those things like what do you eat you know what this is a great time to just follow up with a video i decided i would do a little mini trader joe's haul i do get most of my groceries at trader joe's i love whole foods too but i mean go broke real quick shopping in whole foods all the time if you are interested to see what i eat if i don't eat processed foods keep watching i've said in some of my other videos it's so important to read food labels even like the healthy foods that you know even myself that i used to think were healthy when i thought i was eating healthy are so bad like a lot of protein bars a lot of protein mixes a lot of products that are marketed as healthy read the ingredient labels there's usually like canola oil in it or a malodextrin which is corn syrup or even just plain straight up sugar as like the second ingredient you're never going to reach your goals eating that junk so all the following items that i'm about to show you have nothing added in it it's really just the main ingredient you know this whole lifestyle change has been not easy but easier for me because i don't need something different all the time i'm fine with eating like the same stuff all the time and with that being said i love eggs and could eat eggs all the time i think there's so many different ways to make them um scrambled over easy hard boiled uh in an omelet you know just eating a hard boiled egg i'm like fine with eggs i love that breakfast i usually have eggs i like three eggs two full eggs and then the last one just the egg white and i like to add a lot of vegetables to it easily have the same thing for dinner if i'm not grabbing like a salad or something i like to put a little ground turkey in my eggs on this frozen vegetable medley called the soy katosh the only ingredients are the three vegetables in it which are sweet corn shelled edamame and red peppers i don't know what it is about this mix like i am just obsessed with it like i can't even put it into words but i'm so obsessed with it so i always put it in my eggs i also love it with turkey burgers it's so so good and simple all of these things are simple i'm lazy i don't like to cook i love the idea of cooking but i don't like to cook everything i like to eat is simple next item from trader joe's are the trader joe's frozen turkey burgers these are great because the only ingredients are turkey kosher salt and rosemary extract so there's nothing added no like fillers straight up turkey burgers are so simple like five minutes on each side don't quote me like i said i'm not a good cook love them they're so simple and it's great that there's nothing added to it if i knew how to grill i'm sure they're great on the grill so there are things in your food that you're eating and you can't pronounce it that should be a red flag like, that means it was like concocted in like a lab and it's literally like a chemical experiment right so a lot of people ask me like what do you snack on if you're not snacking on chips or crackers whatever i think crackers and chips are so dangerous because it's so easy to just like keep eating them and keep eating them and keep eating them not a good habit to have i love to have sugar snap peas on hand because they are very crunchy and it kind of mimics like a chip if that's like the validation that you need fresh vegetables and great to be snacking on versus chips. I love to have almond butter around. Again, with peanut butter and almond butters, you have to be careful because, I mean, the reason Skippy and Jif peanut butter taste so good is because sugar is the second ingredient. So the ingredient is almond, so it's safe. And I like the unsalted one, even though the salted one is really good, but I just don't want all that extra sodium. I don't want to feel bloated and puffy. I literally use almond butter for everything. You, Of course, it is a fat, so you have to have it in moderation. Carrots, I forgot to grab them from my refrigerator, but I love carrots. Give them in almond butter or just snack on them. And then I also love having raw broccoli around. I like to just snack on raw broccoli, and this is crazy. Don't judge me. Raw broccoli dipped in almond butter is like really good i don't even know what made me think to dip the broccoli in the almond butter for the first time 
But when I did, I was like, whoa, has anyone else done this? You're gonna feel full eating broccoli versus, you know, eating chips. Have healthy options around. <laughs> My next two snacks that I love to have on hand are dried fruit. However, you do have to be careful with dried fruit because for instance, if you were to eat a handful of grapes, like 20 grapes, you'd probably get full and you wouldn't really reach for another handful because of the water content, it's filling you up. However, if you were to reach for a handful of raisins, you're gonna be grabbing like way more. I'm not gonna get very full because all of the water has been dehydrated out of it. At the end of the day, sugar, although it's natural sugar, obviously it's way better than reaching for the box of Oreos, but just to keep in mind, these are some of my favorite dried fruits that I love to have. It's also great to just like keep a bag in your car because I live in LA, I'm always on the go. There's no healthy drive throughs It's hard to just, like have fresh fruit hanging around in your car. It's gonna go bad. Right? So the first are freeze dried bananas. I really love freeze dried bananas. They I like to dip them in almond butter. Also with dried fruit, you have to be careful because a lot of generic brands or grocery store brands will add sugar. So dried pineapple, but it's sweetened. All of these have nothing added to it. This is just purely the fruit that's been dried down. Next is organic dried mango. I love this. I like the kind of like chewy texture to it. You kind of have to like work to eat it, which just sounds strange, but I really like it. I already opened these actually. New Zealand sweet apple rings. So these are unsweetened, obviously, but they are just called sweet apples because the apple itself is a more sweet apple. I actually recently came across these at Trader Joe's in the frozen aisle. Oh my god, they are the dark pitted cherries and they are so good. So technically like the type of cherries that you would put inside a cherry pie. I just eat them out of the bag. Oh my god, they're so good frozen. Dipped in almond butter as always. I am like obsessed with these. There's so many health benefits of cherry, of dark cherry. It helps inflammation, it helps blood pressure. I also don't eat dairy. Almond milk in my coffee. Obviously don't have chocolate. But when I want a chocolate fix, this is the Montezuma's 100% cacao. I'm not gonna lie to you and say it's delicious right off the bat because when i first tried it it definitely was like i was like what is this it is an acquired taste and i am obsessed with it now to get used to it like i don't even know what real chocolate tastes like anymore obviously i haven't had it in over a year now but my last favorite food item that i'm obsessed with is pressed juicery i love their juices a go-to right now is the charcoal cleanse one it basically just tastes like lemon water and i love it it's really good for detoxifying and then as a treat i am obsessed with their pressed juicery freeze i don't have one on me right now because i honestly ate it last night the press juicery freeze is made out of almonds, water, cacao, and dates. So it's all naturally sweetened by the dates. It is so good. I'm telling you, if I could live off of eggs and press juicery freeze, I'd be fine. I live in the LA area. There's also another place called Frozen Fruit Co. That's in Santa Monica. Theirs is coconut milk based. So it's a little thicker and a little richer and it's so good. But same, same type of concept, like four or five ingredients healthy ice creams that you find at the grocery store definitely be aware of those because the ingredient list is pretty sus honestly i stay away from all of that and when i do want like an ice cream type dessert i always have fresh juicery freeze or the frozen fruit coat and it's really good if you take away anything from this video definitely to read labels and be aware of what you're putting in your body as cliche as it sounds it definitely starts from within it's all about what you put in your body. So the key factor in making a lifestyle change like this successful is to have healthy options around you. Things that you can grab that you're not gonna feel bad about. What happened for me and what I hope happens for you if you do wanna take this route is after a certain amount of time, the bad foods aren't even gonna phase you anymore. Like, I feel better, I think I look better. I'm honestly just like really proud of myself. And oh, if you have any questions, comment below if you need any more tips or advice, I'd be happy to help you. My friend who eats healthy loves to bake and so she loves to bake healthy things. And I have a couple recipes that she makes for me because I don't like to bake but if you guys want to see a video that makes like brownies banana bread cookies that comment below and maybe I will do that in a video I will whip out my baking gloves and do a video like that if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up like comment share and subscribe and I'll be back with more videos Bye.